Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you again for the October Omaha existing market report. And when I say existing, I'm talking no, uh, there's no new construction in these reports. Okay. So what we saw from September to October, we saw our number of units down about 19%. We went from 802 in September to 648 in October. Doesn't really surprise me. Um, that our units were down for a couple of reasons. Uh, you know, weather starts to change a little bit, even though it's unseasonably warm right now. But, you know, we, we started getting into fall and it does slow down a little bit. And then obviously we know that rates have been up. Um, now they did tick back a little bit last week. Uh, at one point they were even like seven and a quarter, um, which actually makes me want to comment. So you guys, houses are still selling. The market is doing what I'm calling normalizing. Okay. so. We're never going to see two, two and a half, three percent money again. And if we do, it's because we've got some kind of economic catastrophe out there that's going to be worse than an interest rate situation. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. But we're never going to see that again. Um, you know, uh, so our market is normalizing. Back when it would take 35, 60, 90 days potentially to sell a house, that's you know that's kind of where we're going a little bit. But it's not even that bad. The last couple of listings that I've had, um, you know, some in the in the average price point, uh, those have been a week, you know, where a year ago, a week, you'd think the sky was coming, you know, <laughs> was gonna fall down on you. So anyways, stay positive. Um, you know, it's the only thing that we can do, right? You know, people still need to buy and sell homes. Um, so with that being said, the overall price point did drop in Omaha about 1.8%. We went from 327 and some change to about 321. Um, days on market, nine compared to 10. So still moving pretty quick, um, but you know, we're dropping just a little bit. Now, again, you've got some naysayers that think that the bottom is gonna drop out of the market and this is gonna be 08, 09 all over again. That is not the case, right? We still have a serious demand nationwide for housing. Um, so that's the overall market. Then the next segment I like to talk about is the startup or the first time home buyer, and that's zero to 300,000. So we saw our units down about 16% from 446 in September to 376 in October. And we had an average sale price uh, from 221.6 down to about 215 and some change. So down about two and a half percent. Days on market, the exact same, seven days. So in that starter price point, and really guys, the starter price point is really the trickle up. It's kind of the driver. Um, it really pushes everything. Um, so that's a really important um, category to focus on. And I've mentioned this before, but with where the market is right now, where it's normalizing, correcting a little bit, it lets our FHA and our VA buyers be able to get in and buy houses. And so we need that. Um, so that's, that's really important also. So um, then our next segment is our move up. That's 300 to 750,000. So we were down 23% from 329 to 253 in October. And our pricing was down pretty Pretty comparable to the to the to the last group, 1.6 percent from 414 to about 407. Days on market, the exact same, just like the startup. So um, again, this is where you'll see, you know, we might have houses in the 4 450 500 range. There's a little bit of a glut in that price point, um, but the key factor and the houses that are selling that are in this category is if they're updated and they present well. So that's really, really important. Um, then the last uh, category that I like to talk about is the luxury, that's 750 and above. So we were down about 30% from 27 units down to 19. Um, you know, still that's, I mean, that's a big jump, um, but knowing that we've still got 20 houses that are 750,000 and above in Omaha selling, that's still a good size number. Um, now our average sale price went from a million 13 to just under 1.3 million, so up 25%. Now, we had a couple of them that sold in October that were some bigger price points, so that actually helped move the needle there. But we went from 27 days in September at 750 and above to 10. So what that shows me is that that upper end buyer, they're not as affected from the interest rates or by the interest rates. Um, we do see some cash deals uh, at times when we get up in this upper end, um, you know, so that's actually really promising to see that that upper end is moving. So at the end of the day, you guys, you know, there's always going to be life changing events, right? 
deaths, divorces, babies, you know, uh, relocation, just all that. That's why, because I mean, basically that's why I have a job, right? So, because we have people that need housing. So the market's going to continue to move. It doesn't matter who's gonna be in office, things of that nature, but the market is still moving. It's just normalizing a little bit. Um, but once rates do start to move down, and they will again, uh, once they start to move down, you guys, if they get into the sixes, don't be surprised if we start seeing multiple offers again. I was in a multiple offer situation last week, so they're still out there. Um, we, you know, we'll get to the point where we might have to start seeing cash deals, uh, appraisal gaps, no inspections. So if you're a buyer right now in this market, jump on it, you know, right? Because I mean, prices are, have leveled off a little bit. Um, but again, if those prices go down in the spring or the interest rates go down in the springtime, we're going to see a market doing this. Um, so if you guys like the information that I'm bringing to you every month, please remember to follow me on social media and go ahead and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.